my dear students, this is the second lecture uh, during the two weeks, three days, because of coronavirus. Uh, in the first lecture, we explained some measures of central tendency. Uh, we explained the mean, the weighted mean, the combined mean, the trimmed mean, uh, the geometric mean, and the harmonic mean. And we also explained that every one or each one of these measures used according to the nature of the data set. Okay? Now we will complete with uh, the measures of central tendency and we will begin in this lecture with the median. The median is the value that falls or lies in the middle when the data are arranged or ranked and increasing or ascending from smallest to largest or descending or decreasing from largest to smallest order. So, in order to compute the median, you have to arrange or order the data set first. Okay? So, for the odd number of elements, I mean if the data size is odd number, the median is the middle value, the middle value, okay? So if we have uh, uh, a data set contains 11, for example, 11, 11 is an odd number, 11 observations, so you have to rank these 11 observations firstly, and locate the median in the middle of the ranked data. So you will see that the median is the value of the data number six, the data number six, where five of these data are larger than the median and five of the data smaller than the median. So the median is lies in the middle of the data set. Okay? This is when the data set uh, represent an odd number. Okay? So what about the even number of observation? The middle in this case is the average of the two middle values. Okay? So, if we have only 10 observations, you will see that the median lies between uh, uh, observation number 5 and observation number 6 after ranking or ordering the data set. Okay? So, you can locate uh, the position of the median firstly and compute the value of the median uh, after you locate the median. Okay? So, look at this formula. MR equal N plus 1 over 2 when n is odd number. This is the rank of median, not the value of median. This is the rank. So to compute the rank of median for odd number, if the data set is odd number, 
use this formula mr equal n plus 1 over 2 okay so mr equal uh, the middle of n over 2 and n over 2 plus 1 okay Look at this formula. <coughs> so once the data set is odd number, MR, the rank of the median, equal N plus 1 over 2. When the data set is even number, MR is lies between M1 and M2, where M1 equal N over 2 and M2 equal n over 2 plus 1 okay so m is uh, the point uh, between these two values m1 and m2 right okay When using the median as the measure of central location, at most one half of the elements fall below the median, and at most the other half fall above it. Okay, so the median is the value in the middle of the ranked data set. Fifty percent is larger than and 50% is smaller than the medium, okay? Uh, look at this. The median is often the preferred measure of central tendency when dealing with ordinal data okay so if the data set is ordinal data the preferred or the better measure of central tendency is the median okay If the data are cardinal, I mean the quantitative, which contain outliers or extreme values in one side after ranking the data, also the median is the best measure in this case so now you know that the median is the preferred measure of central tendency in case of ordinal data number one 
and number two when the data contains outliers or extreme values okay so this is different from the mean the mean is the best one when the data are quantitative and there is no outliers or extreme values okay In such cases, the mean is not a suitable measure for central tendency because of the distorting effect of outliers or extreme values in one side after ranking the data. Okay, so in these two cases, the best measure of central tendency is the median, not the mean. Because the median is heavily influenced by extremely small and large data values, you know, the trim mean and the median may be more suitable in such cases. Okay? So, what is the difference between median and trimmed mean? Okay, trimmed mean is used when the data contains extreme values and the two sides of the data set. So, when you rank a data set and find that some observations uh, are extremes or outliers and the two sides of data the best measure in this case is the trimmed mean okay but if you want that the data contains only extremes or outliers in one side so you have to use the median not the mean okay so you understand what is the best measure according to the nature of the data set right the function median when using MATLAB program we have a function called median which give you medium value of an array the syntax is m equal median of a and m denoted here to the median or m equal median of a and m in case of matrix dem means a median of columns or median of rows okay so because the matrix contains a lot of variables and every variable represented by a column so by default by default median of a compute the medians for every columns so the result will be in the form of horizontal horizontal shape or form okay one value for every column one value for every column so if the matrix contains five columns then the result of a or median a will be five values one value for every column what will happen when you use them equal to if them equal to then the median of the rows will be resulted every row has one value 
and the result will be a coulomb not a rho every element in the coulomb represents the median of each row okay so <coughs> median of something and num flag uh, used when you have a missed data and this is not uh, our aim uh, now okay description m equal median of a return is the median value of a okay if a is a vector the median returns the median of the median value of a okay so if a is a row or a vector the median of a will give you one value for the median of the data set in a <coughs> if a <coughs> is non-empty matrix the median treats the column of a as vectors and retain a row vector of medium value as I explained now okay so for every row for every column you have one value okay so the number of median for the matrix equal the number of columns or the number of variables in the matrix the third syntax m equal mean median of a and the dem dem means dimension as we said before retain is the median of elements along the dimension dem so uh, for example if a is a matrix then median a and 2 is a column vector containing the median value of each row okay but a and 1 is a row not a column okay containing uh, the median value of each column so 1 is the default and the 2 is the median for every row in the matrix okay this is correct for all the measures for all the measures when a is a matrix you have to use them and the them by default equal one so if you want to get the median for all columns you can select one or without dimension you have to write median of a just median of a okay median of something and non flag optionally specifies whether to include or omit names value okay as we said before for the function mean we also use num flag when uh, the data set contains missing value so this optionally specifies whether to to include or omit nans values in the median calculation for any of the previous syntaxes okay for example median a and omit nan ignores one nan values in a okay so this function will compute the median without any missing value or any value 
concern it as not a number, not a number. Missing value, okay? Example number nine. Find the median of the following marks of five students. Okay, so as we said before, you have to rank or to order this data. Then you know whether the data is odd number or even number. Then locate uh, uh, the location of uh, median. Then get the value of the median. Okay, so by hand, the first step is to rank the data. Ranking from small to large it looks like this. 8, 12, 15, 16, and 18. The median rank is the rank, not value. The median rank is the middle location which is n plus 1 over 2, 5 plus 1 over 2, 6 over 2 equal 3. So the value number 3, huh? the value number 3 is the median, right? So, the median is the value number 3 in the ranked data, which equal 50, okay? So, this is the location, third value, and this is the value, the value, okay? the value of median is 15 but the value rank or the median rank is third values in the order data by MATLAB <coughs> using the function median we have now this is the data written and a row for and m equal median of x m equal 15 example 10 the following data represents the sales of six branches of a company by thousands Egyptian pounds Okay, 54, 48, 33, 66, 72, and 99. Find the median of sales. Solution by hand. We first arrange the data in ascending order as follow. We can also arrange the data in descending but uh, it's better to range the data set in ascending okay ascending means from small to large and the descending means from large to small okay now look <coughs> the number of data set is even six is even number so the median will be here between the third and the fourth values okay so this is the location of the median and the value of the median is the average the average hmm, of these two middle values so you have to 
8, 54, uh, plus 66, divided by 2, to get the average of the two middle values. Where the number of data is even, when we get the rank of the two middle values, then we get the rank, okay? <coughs> now, M1 equal N over 2 equal 3, and M2 equals 3 plus 1 equal 4. So, the location is between uh, value number 3 and value number 4. And the median value is Fifty four plus sixty six divided by two. So the median will be sixty. Sixty. Okay. Look, sixty is not a value of the data set. Why? Because the data set contains an even number. If the data set contains an odd number, you will see that the median is a value in the data set okay the value in the middle term of the data set but when even numbers you see that the value of the median is not one value in the data set it's the average of the two middle values in the data set okay <coughs> by matlab Enter the data as a row vector and write the command m equal median of x. You see that the result is the same, 60. Computing the median from an ujaif. An ujaif, we uh, explained the meaning of joint. Uh, before. As we explained before, the ujive is a curve drawn for the cumulative frequency distribution and cumulative percentage or cumulative relative frequency. By joining with straight lines, the dots marked or denoted above the upper boundaries or classes at heights equal to the cumulative frequencies or percentages or respective classes of respective classes okay this is the ujive as we studied before example 11 <coughs> sorry the following table gives the frequency distribution of the bucket money by Egyptian bands for 50 students. The classes C is from 0 to 10, the first class, and the second from 10 to 20, the third from 20 to 30, and from 30 to 40, and the final of the last class is from 40 to 50. The frequencies, number of students, 6 in the first class, 12 in the second class, 20 in the third class, and so on. To do the Ujayev, and compute, compute uh, or calculate <coughs> the median using this ujive, we have to follow these steps. Number one, construct cumulative frequency distribution. Number two, draw an ujive for the cumulative frequency distribution. Number three, find the median 
a pocket money of students. Uh, number four, prepares ascending and descending cumulative frequencies, distribution and the draw the graph representing them and determine the median. Look at this. <coughs> Solution by hand. The first step is constructing the ascending and descending cumulative frequencies. Okay. So this is the frequency table classes and frequencies. So the two columns contains uh, uh, classes and frequencies form a frequency table. Okay. AC accumulated classes. We have to begin with zero frequency. Okay. To draw the ogive <coughs> beginning with the horizontal line so we have to add one class or one category before the first class right and this class limits is less than zero less than zero so the cumulative frequency is zero we have none in this class, okay? <coughs> no one has a zero pocket money, no one. So we will begin with zero. The second class will be the first class in the frequency table, okay? So from 0 to less than 10, we have 6 students, okay? And from 0 to 20, we have 18 students. Why? Because we add 6 to 12, the total will be 18. From 0 to 30, we can say less than 30, less than 20, less than 10, okay? So you can omit the zero or the lower limit of every class and write only the upper limit of every class, okay? And set less than zero, less than 10, less than 20, less than 30, less than 40, and less than 50 right okay so you have to add a 6 to 12 to get 18 and add 20 get 38 <coughs> and so on okay <coughs> when getting the descending accumulation we have to begin with the total frequencies 50. So less than 50, we have 50. Uh, between 10 and 50, we have 45. Why? Because there are 6 students between 0 and 10. Okay? So from 10 to 50, we have only uh, 44. From 20 to 50, we have 32. Okay? From 30 to 50, we have only 12. From 40 to 50, we have 4. More than 50 we have none, okay? So this is a descending cumulative frequency and this is the ascending cumulative frequency. If we draw this one and this one, 
the intersection of these two lines is the median. So the median is the intersection of ascending cumulative and descending cumulative frequency. Look at this. The rule and drive and define the median. So if we draw the drive only, you can locate the median here, like this. So the value of the median will be here. Will be here. Okay. Now we have a 50 data set. Okay. In the middle of this size, I mean at 25, 25, the midpoint of uh, the data between 0 and 50. So here, at the vertical point of 25, draw a line to intersect the ujaif like this and draw another vertical line to the horizontal line okay so this is the median this is the median this case <coughs> this is uh, ascending frequencies uh, together now this is ascending uh, and this is ascending and descending cumulative frequencies this intersection point when you draw the two lines and this is the intersection when you draw only an ujaif okay so you can draw only an ujaif and you can use the two ascending and descending cumulative frequencies so you see that the median approximately equal 25 by MATLAB <coughs> but the uh, classes using the upper limit so the first class is 0 which we add the second is 10 this is the upper limit of the first and the data set then 20, 30, 40, 50 the frequencies uh, the first class we add before uh, frequency equals zero and the first uh, frequency is 6 12 20 8 4 to get the cumulative ascending uh, frequency the function sum comes sum comes sum means cumulative summation again the function is called come sum and it means cumulative summation okay so uh, af equal number one zero this one then add six then add twelve then add 20 then add 8 then add 4 okay so this is a cumulative summation okay df descending sum f minus af sum f minus af so as we computed it before the first is 50 then subtract 6 to be 44 
subtract 12 to be 32 subtract 20 to be 12 and so plot C with AF and the style will be uh, the points are squared and the line is dodge that out that dash dot and the color is red okay this is a style of the line so s means squared the points must be square uh, the style of the line is dash dot and the color of the line is R both these three factors between two inverted commas like this and if you want to write a title <coughs> you can use gtext or you can use <coughs> Uh, the graph itself to uh, write the axis and the title and anything else so we have ma more than one method to write the axis and the title and so on ok this is the ogive, the ogive, the point is square and the line is dash dot and uh, at the point of 25, the middle between 50 and 0, draw a line to intersect the ogive and draw a vertical line to the horizontal line <coughs> and this is the value of the median okay so this is uh, cumulative uh, frequency and median <coughs> the mode mode is an element that is most popular or common in the statistics field the mode represents the most frequent value in the data set this means that the value which repeated more than the other values okay in other words, the mode is the value that occurs or repeated with the highest frequency in the data set. Right? The mode doesn't necessarily lie or located in the middle of the data set because it indicates the location of greatest clustering or concentration of values right okay sometimes no single value occurs or repeated more than once so there is no mode in the raw data in this case if the repetition of all data set uh, is equal there is no more in such case it's more useful to group the data into classes and refer to the class with the largest frequency as the mode class because there is no mode in the raw data okay so in this case 
you have to construct a frequency table then uh, the class with the highest frequency can be referred to the mode a distribution is z then said to be unimodal if there is only one such class unimodal and by model if there are two such classes if we have the two classes uh, frequency equals so we have two modes and by model if there are two such classes or if the data set contains two equal modes while the midpoint of the, the model class is sometimes referred to as uh, the mood it identifies not the element that occurs or repeated most frequently as the true mode does but the element about which there is the greatest clustering of values so it is corresponds graphically to the highest point on the frequency polygon okay the highest point on the frequency polygon we know that how can we draw the frequency polygon and the highest point in this frequency polygon frequency polygon like this like this the highest point is the, the mode when the data set are nominal the only measure of central tendency is the mode okay so we cannot compute the median and we cannot compute the mean and we cannot compute any other mean like trim mean harmonic mean uh, geometric mean because the data are nominal so for nominal data the only measure of central tendency is the mode is the mode okay but for the ordinal data we can get uh, the median and the mode for a cardinal or quantitative data we can compute the three measures of central tendency the mean the mood the median okay the function mode means most frequent values in array the value which repeated more than the other values okay like median and the like mean the syntaxes are the same mode of a mode of a and them mode of a m and f m and f uh, equal mode this is give you the mode and uh, uh, the repetition of mode okay this means f means a uh, how many times the mode is repeated okay so description mode of a returns the sample mode of a which is the most frequently occurring values in a when uh, there are multiple values occurring equally frequently mode return is the smallest of those values so if the data contains more than one mode the MATLAB program will give you the smallest one okay the smallest one of those values 
Okay. If A is a vector, then mode of A returns the most frequent value of A. If A is a non empty matrix, then mode returns a row vector containing the mode of each column. As we said before, for median or for mean, this is the same syntax. Also, M equal mode of A and them returns the mode of elements along dimension them. Okay, the same syntax as we said before. But look, M and F mode any of the previous or the above syntax also return a frequency array F frequency array F using any of the input argument in the previous uh, syntax uh, here use any of the other or the above syntaxes F is the same size as M and each element of F represents the number of occurrences of the corresponding element of M. Okay? M and F and C mode also returns a cell array C of the same size as M and the F, each element of C is a sorted vector of all values that have the same frequency as the corresponding element of M. We will not need this one because we concentrate uh, only with the modes and the number of modes in the data set, okay? Example 12. The manager of a men's store observes that 10 t-shirts sold one day had the following neck size 42, 36, 45, 34 and so on. Find the mode of these neck sizes. Now search about uh, the value or the number which repeated more than the others okay lock 44 and 44 and 44 so this is repeated three times okay and there is no any other one repeated three times so the mode by hand is 44 the next size which repeated uh, more than any other size okay by MATLAB using the function mode so insert the data like this and write this command me equal mode of x so the mode is 45. If you want to know how many times this mode repeated, then put here the argument M or ME and the F equal mode of X. So ME means the mode and the F means the number of times repeated or the frequency of the repeated value. 44 it's repeated three times and this is uh, the largest or the common value of the data set as you see the value 44 is repeated three times okay so if he the number of times the mode repeated okay 
example 13 assume that the number of t-shirts in the above example is 9 only and the next size 45 is repeated only twice only twice so we have to omit one with size 45 uh, find the mood find the mood after omitting one 44 size okay by hand in this case the data set are by model by model it has two modes and the two modes are 42 and 44 okay so 44 is repeated twice and also 42 is repeated twice okay look at the data here 42 and 42 okay 44 and 44 okay and 44 when omitting one okay so there are two modes one equal 44 and the other equal 42 okay and everyone repeat it twice example 13 assume that the number of t-shirts and the above example is 9 only and the next size uh, is 44 is repeated only twice find the mood so the result is uh, two moods one uh, is 42 size and the other is 44 size okay by MATLAB when the data contains multi modes the function mode return is the smallest value only as in the following figures okay so you expect that the mode according to the MATLAB program will be 42 and not 44 this is the smallest value in the data set okay right me and f equal mode x me means the mode here the smallest one 32 and f is the frequency or the repeated value the number of repeated the number of times this mode repeated two times twice right or m equal mode of x m here is the mode without frequent okay the relationships among mean median and the mode this is an important point and you have to know these uh, the relationship among these three measures of central tendency if the distribution of data set is symmetric symmetric means uh, the two tails are uh, equal each other okay and uni model has one mood the three measures are coincide are coincide this means that with the normal distribution or symmetric distribution you will see that the mean equal the median and equal the mode the three measures are coincide okay so the mean median and the mode are equals in this case which case symmetric distribution or normal distribution if the distribution of data set is not symmetric 
if it is not symmetric it will be skewed to the right or skewed to the left it's said to be skewed skewed means skewed to the right or positively skewed or skewed to the left or negatively skewed in this case if the distribution is skewed to the right I mean that the tail is long on the right side skewed to the right or positively skewed positively skewed it has a long tail extending to the right indicating the presence of small property uh, proportion small proportion or relatively large extreme values large extreme values but only <coughs> a short tail extending to the left these extreme values or the outliers pull the mean to the right more than the median when the mode is located under the top or the back of the distribution with value less than both the median and the mode okay we will illustrate this point using graphs a mean value that is larger than the median provides some evidence of positively skewed distribution when the distribution is skewed to the left or negatively skewed it has a long tail to the left but short tail to the right in this case the extreme values or the outliers put the mean value to the direction of the skewness the mean value will be less than the median indicating a negative skewness right a mean value will be less than the median indicating a negative skewness and the mood is located under the top of the distribution which is larger than both the median and the mean look at these three shapes three figures this is the symmetric distribution you will see that the mean equal the median equal the mode okay here this distribution is skewed to the left or negatively skewed in this case look this is the mode from the back of the top to the horizontal line and the mean will locate it here okay and the median is between the mean and the mode okay so in this case I mean the skew to the left mean is less than median and the median is less than mode so the mode will be here the median will be here and the mean will be here okay on the other hand if the distribution skewed to the right or positively skewed look this is the mode from the back or from the top to x-axis and then the median and then the mean so the mode is less than median and the median is less than the mean okay so the mean located here the median located here and the mode located here okay measures of position uh, we will stop here and next week we will explain the measures of position okay
thanks for listening and see you next week inshallah